Well everyone, I've come to the destination that I wanted to start at. These worms are called rock worm, and what they do is, they actually live in the rocks, in the burrows. So what you're trying to do is find a rock like this, dig alongside it, along the edge, and with a pickaxe and a fork, or whatever, a crowbar, work your way through the rocks, and they actually live in the rocks, in the crevices here. I've just got one out of there. I had to open this rock up, and we managed to get it out. But here's a few of them that I've already got. It is hard work guys, but these are the best worms you can get. We're actually getting quite a few today with the pickaxe. So I'm quite happy with that. So we're going to continue working around this rock and see if we can get some more. I just managed to get another one out. You can see its hole here. Look, that's its track mark in here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But often there's a hole there and a hole up there. I've just managed to get that one out as well. So it is hard work everyone, but... It is definitely rewarding as bait wise. As I said, it's probably the best bait in the world. So I'm gonna set the tripod up. We're gonna to get to it. Let's go. So as I said, all I'm doing is working with the pick and the fork. So I'm gonna use the fork to get some of this loose out and then we'll start getting to work with the pick as well. Great way of uh, catching bait. If anyone ever comes over, I'll teach you how to dig vermin. Honestly, it's an amazing bait. It's so tough. It's better than ragworm, a thousand times better than ragworm. It's right up there with cat bait and white rag. So. Uh, yeah, best bait in the world in my eyes. Let's get it. There's one. Beauty. They're not massive ones, but still firm. Let's start getting the pick into these little nooks and crannies. It's not easy work. <laughs> I haven't found none for a while now. And check that out everyone, I thought, oh, I'll just have a go over here. I just broke this first bit of rock over. And look, you can see it. What a lovely worm that is. Look how big. Big, fat, juicy worm. Those are exactly what you want. Big pincers on them, just like ragworm. Fantastic looking worm. Mother of pearl effect on them. That is a lovely worm. That has got bass and gilt heads written all over it. So we've got a few in the top. I'm gonna to work my way around here now. Cause that's a good sign and see if there's any more. We're gonna work our way through here now. I'll move these rocks first and then we'll dig along the side of that rock there. Well, that's a good sign. That. That's what they do, they burrow into the rock. Very strong jewels. That was a good find. If I could move this, I bet you there's some under here. 
dig a hole. Oh, there's one. You hope nearly got away from me. Nice small berm. Still good. Very hard work. Yep. Yeah. It was broken. You really come all the way along here, look. Yes, bit of one. Well, everyone, the tide is rushing up now. We've got a good amount of worms. I'll just give you a show of them. Beautiful amount of worms there, verm, verm, verm. As I said, probably some of the best bait in the world you can get. So tough, they're a mixture between a log worm and a rag worm. Yellow and red in colour, full of juice. Absolutely full of juice, guys. So, uh, yeah, they live in rocks. They are very hard to get. It's picking the rocks. Also, you can get them by just forking into the ground, digging with a fork. But really, really hard to get. I'm going to quit try, get a few more here. Then we're going to have to start making our way to the car. But we've definitely got enough for the uh, couple of sessions over the next couple of nights. So hopefully we get some bass and gilts with them. Let's get to it and see if we can get some more. That's hard work. That tide is racing up. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more. That tide is racing up behind me. What a beautiful day though. Good evening everybody and welcome back. Well, we've done that bait digging of Verm and that was some hard work. But now we're at the beach and we're going to go and target some bass. I've already got the rods out. We'll give you a run through of the setup. I always like to get the rods out while we're down the beach. Uh, get them out, get set up, and then start filming. Just that way, we've got the bait in the water, more chance of catching fish. I just heard the bell go then, to be honest. Um, keep my eye on that. Yep, we've got a fish, guys. We've got a fish. I just heard the bells going. You couldn't have made that up. Yeah, there's a fish there, guys. Well, I do apologise about that. We'll get back to that. That rod just started going then. So we haven't been here long. The rods are already going. Hopefully we get you a few bass or a few gilt heads. That's what we're down here for tonight, guys. It's a beautiful night. We've got a variable one to three easterly wind. It's four degrees. It doesn't feel like four degrees. And we're fishing. So, uh, yeah. That rod went off. So there's definitely fish here. Hopefully we're going to get you a few basils and a few gilts and we can give you a show of them. Hopefully you get some nice fish. Let's get them. So everyone, sorry I couldn't get it on camera, but first fish of the night, check that out for a basil. Lovely sides basil, oh, full of life. It's definitely in size, so it's gonna be coming home for the table. Probably about 44 centimeter bass, 45 centimeter. Absolute cracker. First fish, we've only been down here 10 minutes. That rod absolutely screamed off. I'm sorry I didn't get it on film. 
I've got no one with me tonight and you're on a little tripod which is just on top of my fishing box. Well, I've got the rod back out. I didn't want to waste no time. One fish down already, guys. Fantastic. You can't beat that. I was say we've only been here 10 minutes. Hopefully we can get a few more. The worm does it again. Best bait in the world, everyone. That's why I dig it. Fantastic. I can't believe that. Nice little bass within 10 minutes. Lovely, lovely fish. Let's get some more. Yes. Well, everyone, the rod just started tearing off there. Second fish of the evening. And it's not what we want. It's not a bass. It's the good old dogfish. Can't go a session where there ain't a dogfish. We don't normally get dogfish here, but it's not a bad dogfish. He's definitely swallowed my hook, though. He's absolutely engulfed it. So I'm going to try and get this hook out, guys, but he's going to be coming home for pot bait, so I'm going to do the pots tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, perfect. One bass, one dogfish. Let's get some more. Yes. He's absolutely nailed that. There we go. Hook's out. Got to watch that tail because it will whip you. There we are, one dogfish. He's coming home, as I said. You beauty. Well, everyone, we've done it again. Oh. It's shiner number two. Lovely representation of a bass there. It's only a schoolie, this one. This one's not going to be a keeper, but a lovely, lovely bass. Beautiful hookup straight in the bottom of the lip there. Don't know if you can get that. That is a fine, fine hookup there, guys. Absolutely over the moon with that. Second basil. We'll get him on hook, get him released, and hopefully get some more. It's nearly high tide now. It's a nine meter high water, so hopefully there should be a few more fish. Let's get him. What a nice fish. Beautifully hooked. One last little show before I get rid of him. Fine, fine basil. Let's get him back, everyone. Let's see if we can get grandma. Well, everyone, third fish. It's a lovely little schoolie hooked straight in the side of the lip. So I'm going to be able to get this one off quite easily. Straight in the side, the scissors, that. Beautiful, beautiful hookup. And a lovely, lovely fine bass. Number three for the session. Not a big one, but it's still just great to be hitting into some fish after I haven't been fishing recently due to the bad weather. So absolutely ecstatic with that. We're gonna get this one back though. As I say, it's only a little schoolie. What a fine, fine fish. I do apologize for the light. I've got no one with me tonight, so filming's quite difficult, but we'll just make that do. But yes, what a fine session this has been. Three bass and one dogfish so far. Let's get that rod out, we're high water, and hopefully get a big bugger. Oh, the other rod's going. Other rod's going, guys. Definitely something there. We'll let this one materialise. The fish are definitely here, everyone. The fish are definitely here. Let's get them. Well, everyone, we've only gone and had another basil. Beautifully, they're all lipped hooked, which is absolutely great. He's just popped out. It's another fine basil there. Beautiful bass. Number four for the session. I don't think that's going to be in, to be honest. He's a nice little fat bass, but I don't think the length is there. It could well be 42, but I don't have a tape measure, so I'm not going to risk it, everyone. Lovely to see. Bass number four. I can't even get my rods out quicker than what they're going. There's that much fish here, so really great. Doing well. Let's get this one back. Let's see if we can get them bigger. That's still a nice fish, though, guys. Still a nice fish. Yeah. He's definitely, definitely just under 42, I think, though. It might be 42, but we're not going to take that risk. Let's get him back. 
see if we can get some more. Back he goes. I thought I'd just give you a run through of the rods. We're using the Squadron Pen Surf 2 rods. Fantastic rod. They're a four to six ounce rod, 12 foot in length. And then the reels we're using are the Pen Fathom 15 SDs uh, loaded with 25 pound mono. And we're just using a running ledger system which consists of a bead to a six slider, to another bead, to a 250 pound break and strain swivel. And then we're just onto a two foot trace with 3 -oh hooks. Using Verm, fantastic setup for the beach. I really love it. Oh, we got a bike, guys. We got a bike. We got a bike. Well, the rub was going off. Unfortunately, I weren't able to get hold of it. Hopefully something materialises. I don't know where that went. Let's get some more. So everyone, I was just packing the rods. It's an hour and a half after high water. And I had the rods out, just hoping for one more. And we managed to get another little basil there. Uh, it's gonna be close to being in size as well. So we're gonna chuck that one back. We also had that one keeper basil there. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. Lovely bass that. We're gonna chuck this one back, guys. Number five or number six, this bass. Been a thoroughly enjoyable bass fishing session here on the west coast of Guernsey. I hope it's come through on the camera. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. But now I'm gonna start making my way to the van and get this fish back. So uh, let's get packing up and start making our way back. So everyone, we're back at the car now. I just wanna thank you all coming along on this fishing adventure. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you do like this channel, guys. There's gonna be a lot more fishing adventures coming through 2024. 2024 is gonna be in glorious fishing year. So I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Thanks for coming along. I do say it again, we have five or six bass, one dogfish, not the worst session, but not the best session. Hopefully tomorrow night we can get the guilt heads, but that's for another video. So hope to catch you all in the next one, guys. Thanks for coming along. Take care, stay safe, ciao.